It appears as though new information detailing Scorpio has landed in the hands of Digital Foundry from an anonymous tipster. The source sent Digital Foundry a leaked Microsoft white paper from July 2016 titled Reaching 4K and CPU Scaling Across Multiple Xbox Devices. The biggest reveal from the white paper is that Scorpio may not be a true 4K console as it was said to be at E3 2016. Instead, it may rely on upscaling resolution as the PS4 Pro does. However, the document does specify that at least one 1080p game has transitioned to native 4K, probably Forza Horizon 3. The Xbox One's ESRAM is gone in Project Scorpio, a feature that helped mitigate for the lower speed DDR3 system RAM, which the Xbox One is based on. Despite the lack of ESRAM, Microsoft detailed that developers should develop with it in mind regardless regardless, because developers are not allowed to ship a Project Scorpio-only SKU, optimizing for ES RAM remains critical to performance on Microsoft platforms. This means that developers creating games to run on Project Scorpio should be making their games available on Xbox One and lower-end PCs, which is something that was confirmed previously. The white paper goes on to give hints on Project Scorpio's hardware and confirms the 6 teraflops GPU and 4 times L2 cache. In addition to that, Delta Color Compression will be featured on Project Scorpio, a feature that is also found in the PlayStation 4 Pro. Microsoft went on to talk about the upscaling frame rate by running graphics at 60 Hz with the CPU at 30 Hz and interpolating animation. Project Scorpio claims 4 times GPU power over the Xbox One, which is a bit low considering some games would require over 9 times increase to hit 4K resolution. To combat resolution issues, it appears as though Microsoft is doing what Sony did with the PlayStation 4 Pro, checkerboarding. Microsoft even refers to the same Rainbow Six Siege presentation that Sony used to show off the PS4 Pro's rendering. While all of this is interesting, we need Microsoft to give us the details. So as always, all the information from this source should be taken with a grain of salt.